hey 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today if you're here for the very first time welcome if you are returning welcome back today i am sharing with you my second vlog ever here on youtube and i am sharing with you all the party of threes family vacation in pigeon forge tennessee slash cerebral okay so if you're interested in seeing our journey and bits and pieces of our trip then I suggest that you keep on watching. I'll do a little bit of narrating, but here and there, okay? So keep on watching. All right, we are traveling from South Carolina. We live in the upstate of South Carolina, and here is the Welcome to North Carolina sign, which is not far at all from where we live. And um, I would say it's about maybe 20 minutes going this way. Um, we are actually on I-26. And um, this is the uh, Piedmont uh, region. Now, here we are. I'm taking it a little slow so you can see the Welcome to Tennessee sign. Yes, we are really, really that close. Um, this drive is about two hours and maybe 45 minutes, depending on the traffic. And here I'm just showing you how rocky it looks. And it's actually such a beautiful sight to see. Okay. Now we are taking this exit here to Sarahville. And, um... Yeah, we're jumping on I-40 right now, okay? We're heading west, and we are just cruising along. Uh, we had a nice smooth ride. We did run into some rain, but nevertheless, um, you know, we made it there safe, as you all can see, all right? So here are the little whiny roads here. You know, I did start off driving and my husband felt like I was kind of having uh, some anxiety situations, okay? But the anxiety is really when he's driving. <laughs> but anyhow and anyway, we are coming up on the Bushes Baked Beans plant and headquarters. And that is it over there on the right-hand side. And um, how many of you all eat those good old bush baked beans? Well, I do from time to time, okay? And so right here is the headquarters over to the left right there. And um, we have traveled this road many of times. Uh, Tennessee is an easy, quick trip for us. And we love coming here because we can't do everything every time you come. And we've been here maybe about five times and we still haven't done everything and they still keep adding things for you to do. All right. So we are right here on the parkway. And then we will be turning into uh, the hotel shortly. So keep on watching. All right, we are entering into the hotel. This is the Music Road Resort. They have two um, places to lodge. They have the hotel, which we always stay in, and across the street is the Inn. It's called Music Road Resort Inn. And they have a convention center that is in the middle of the two that joins the actual two facilities, okay? so. 
Uh, my guys are unloading and um, they have already checked in as you can see and we are going to go ahead and get on up to the room. All right, now we decided to go get us something to eat. It has gotten a little late and my husband wants to pick up some cigars because that is his thing. So we found this cigar shop and um, these prices ranged from what I could see all the way from like $5.99 up to like a hundred and some change. Okay, but these are his faves right here the deep dish by acid and so he picked up a few of those and a couple other ones and um yeah very very pricey but hey if it's what you like you get what you like okay all right so here we are um the next day going to hang out a bit and it's breakfast time we gotta get us something to eat and so my son likes going to this diner this sky called the skyliner and it's you know it's walking distance we can actually walk there because it's right in front of the hotel but we decided to go ahead and drive because we knew we were going to go out and about um and hang out some so here is the diner it's very very old schoolish and it's very very um fancy as you can see, the um, old cars are parked in the front, and then they have two cars that you can dine in on the inside. How many of you have visited Saraville, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee? If you have, let me know in the comments, and if you have dined at Skyliner here in uh, Pigeon Forge. Now, as you can see, they are sitting in the car eating, and we've never had the pleasure of getting a chance to eat in that car, but anyhow, they have two. I didn't get a picture of the other one. They normally had them back to back, but they moved the other one to the other side of the restaurant, but I will say this restaurant, the food is pretty good, but it's always nice and clean. It's always nice and clean, and it always looks fresh and brand new. The seats, the tables, everything just always look new. All right, so we're going to hang out a little bit at this place called The Island. And it's actually a nice uh, amusement park type of setting, a family setting. And that right there is a water show. They have the big Ferris wheel here, a lot of nice rides, Paula Dean's family's kitchen. I mean, you know, you can do a good bit of things out here. And um, it's definitely a... You know, you don't have to pay to come in. You don't have to pay to park. This, the island, check it out if you are planning on vacation in here. And this 360 dance um, party, boy, did this thing do its thing. OMG. Now, of course, we did not get on any rides, but here was this little shooting gallery right here. And I thought it was so unique and fun. And as you see here, my son is taking some shots, baby, and nailed them off, okay? 
Can you mail them off? Yes, he did. And I don't know if I got the pickup truck um, getting shot at, but uh, he he shot the pickup truck too, and it just did its thing. But anyhow, and anyway, yeah, well, you can see, yeah. <laughs> so, so fun and cute. Now here is uh, a bridge we had to walk across to get to the island and we decided to stop and take a few pics and just, you know, look at the water and you know the water is so calming and this river here, it actually ran in the back of our hotel as well. So we had a view of this same river right here at our hotel room. Uh, we would sit out on the balcony and just uh, look at the water and listen to it at night. It was just so, so calming. Now, the weather was bad here. The weather was bad. So, we didn't get a chance to do a lot of outdoor things, but, you know, we did, was able to do what we could do. Okay? Now, it's poop time.
All right, so we wanted to take a look in the crime museum Alcatraz. Yes, so we are headed on up in here. Oh boy, this was interesting. Okay, this was interesting. Now, it was not quite what I thought it was going to be, or my husband or my son, but it was very, very educational. I learned a lot. I saw a lot. I saw a lot of bad guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, found out about a lot of bad guys. Yep, okay. <laughs> but anyhow, anyway, they did allow us to take pictures, but we could not do any videoing. Okay, we could not have a flash on or any of that type of thing. And um, so this is on the inside when you first come in. Uh, and then, you know, we follow the Green Mile and visit all the exhibits that they have here. OMG, so much to see. So I'm just going to let it ride so y'all keep going. Now, this is a picture of a man down in a cave hanging. The punishment was so severe in the Alcatraz days, okay? So severe. And you would have thought folks would stay out of trouble, but I guess not because there were a lot of bad boys up in here, okay? A lot of bad boys. And you see the look on my son's face? Nobody wants to be behind those bars, all right? And he was another one of the little gun shooting things that you see earlier at the island. But this was on Alcatraz. And my son did some shooting in that. And um, this is uh, some of the people that I was very, very familiar with. Like Susan Smith. You know, I'll never forget that day um, when she claimed that her babies were abducted. And the sniper from D.C. Oh my God. He had the entire United States a little on the panic, okay? And uh, I kind of figured that they would have these pictures here. And then we sat and watched a movie of the 9-11 incident. And I'm telling you, it just felt like we were at a funeral when we came up out of that. Um, watching that video, it was so, so sad. These are some of the things that the men wore and here is uh, a writing a write up writing about Martin Luther King Jr. and it was just a lot of interesting things here are some of the debris from the 911 OMG this this museum was something to see and then you know how you can look at a crime scene they had it all how you go about figuring out what happened first showing you about the way they do autopsies, the, what the morgue looks like. Uh, these are mug shots. When the Miranda warning uh, came about, I mean, this museum had it all, y'all. And then they stood behind the lineup, and I did too. I had no idea why my husband was turning, and my son was turning, and stepping up, but the actual thing was telling you what to do. And then they had the courtroom in here, and then you could meet the warden, and the warden was doing some talking. And these are just uh, cells here, and I mean, it was cool on the creepy side, but um, it was very educational. Very educational. They made it look really, really realistic. And check out Al Capone's cell. Now, he, his cell was all dolled up. Okay, fancy, fancy, fancy. And just look at the ordinary cells right here. And they had a way that you could escape. The electric chair, oh my God. They had a gas chamber and all that. This is the Volkswagen Beetle that Ted Bundy uh, had. And look at the gunshots in this uh, car here from Bonnie and Clyde getting shot and killed. Oh my goodness. And here's John Dillinger's um, vehicle that uh, he drove. And then next to it was the famous Ford Bronco of O.J. Simpson. 
okay and it said on here that this is the original this is the one and so here's just some more um pictures here the motorcycle when you sat on it it made an extra sound as if it was riding i mean they covered it all commissary you can go there where the guys buy their snacks and the inmates buy their snacks i'm telling you uh this is something else and then we had to make sure we hit up our favorite seafood restaurant captain jim's yeah all you can eat seafood and my thing is the crab legs every time and i will say they were seasoned really really good and so we ate until we couldn't eat anymore Mm -hmm. So, this is just a few more pictures of the hotel itself. And um, I must say that we did have a wonderful time in spite of the weather. Dollywood got flooded out. They had a lot of flood warnings. and um, But I will say the traffic was calm. We didn't have a lot of people in the pool, sharing the pool with at night or during the day. No, we could get in during the day because of the time of the year i imagine normally we come here in june and so june the traffic is horrible and yeah so we are headed home now okay we are loaded up and we decided to stop back by dig zone this was a new place so we said that we will definitely come back here when we come back and we didn't get a chance because of the weather so we wanted to stop by heading out but we didn't get out because it was still kind of wet out but we are traveling back home and we are going to stop in uh, Asheville North Carolina so we can do a little bit more shopping for my son you know school is about to get back in so we are stopping by the Asheville outlets and um pick up a couple of things he wants to stop in the Tommy store and so we went on in there and got him a few things and got back in the car and found us the restaurant no we ate here we ate here in the food court yes we did and headed on back home and it was a wonderful wonderful time in spite of the weather so I want to thank you all for stopping by today thumbs the video up if you like vlogs okay chat it up in the comments if you have been here before all right i appreciate you all for watching the video from the beginning to the end stay tuned because i am fall speed ahead now so be on the lookout for plenty of fall diys and style bye bye